As all Jews around the world, the Jews of Ukraine are preparing for Pesach too. The essence of Passover is to celebrate our freedom with the people who are important to us. Every year, in the end of our Seder, we say, next year in Jerusalem. I remember, as a year ago, in the end of the online Seder, we repeated, next year, we will certainly sit side by side together. Unfortunately, this Pesach will be very restless and filled with new meanings for Jews, not only in Ukraine. Because we talk about freedom again and again, being in events that exclude freedom and peace for a democratic and independent country in the center of Europe. But we will celebrate. We will celebrate in shelters, private homes, refugee camps, synagogues. But come what may, when night falls on the Passover Eve, the Jews of Ukraine will pause to eat matzah and bitter herbs, drink four cups of wine, recall the miracles of the Exodus and look forward to better times. Even during the harshest of time, all Jews clung to these precious Passover rituals. Now, amid a devastating war, we'll be doing it again. In many communities, new symbols will appear on the Kiara this year, defining support for the Jews of Ukraine. I have already heard about such as the olive branch as a symbol of peace, or broken matzah as a symbol of broken lives, or yellow and blue ribbons like the flag of Ukraine. Each of us is free to determine what symbol we can designate support for freedom and peace in Ukraine. Ending the Seder this year, I will say to the members of my congregation in Odessa, to my congregation in Ukraine, next year in a peaceful Ukraine. Can you hear it soon?